What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to create a spread in my Happy Planner bullet journal, like a junk journal style spread. So stay tuned if you want to check it out. This is from the Happy Planner. It's a dot grid bullet journal that I use for creative journaling and just, just anything that I feel like really. And I'll be sure and link it in the description. I always appreciate your support when you shop through those links at no extra cost to you. But I was gonna do a quick flip through and show you what I have so far. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do today. I don't have anything on that first page because it wasn't, I need to do something, make it like a, a title page but I have this one that I just wrote down some quotes that are inspiring to me. This one was from the, the Happy Planners Organic Wellness book. And I also used quotes from the Wild Type book for this one. Then next one I used Wild Type for this. I love how that one turned out. And then this one I did a plan with me for it. For it I used the Life is Sweet books along with the Be Bold Fitness, which was a fun combination. Then I did this one with the Cottage Core Florals book and the Planny Thing, plain pastel rainbow boxes. And just as I come across things that would fit in these size boxes, I add them in there. And then this was from the Woodland Seasons book from the Happy Planner. Then we have this gratitude journaling spread, which I haven't written in this one yet, but I'm going to. But I used the Made to Bloom book for that. This one, oh, I had fun with this one. For it, I used a lot of just scrapbook paper and I used some of these books from Wrong Wrong that have the different type of stickers that you just cut out yourself. And also just some little pieces of scrapbook cards and things. And then I did a, a plan with me for this one. This was using the washi, ta washi tape shop stickers along with some paper and things. And I did write on it. Then this one I created the other night while we were just watching TV. I used the House of Bridgerton sticker book along with some decorative papers and stickers from the washi tape shop. This I printed off just like a, as a Google free image. So I left places to journal here and here. And then this next one, I used some planty thing paper and just lots of different flower stickers, some more from those, some from these books as well, like the ribbons and the, the bows and this corset and different like Tim Holtz ephemera. And I had so much fun with that one. I didn't think I was going to like it at first because I added a lot of stuff, but I kind of got it to balance out and I love it now. And now we're on to the next one, but I have so much fun doing this. Even a lot of times I'll just do it, like I said, when we're watching TV at my leisure. But for this one, I have a new release from Growing Modestly. This is the Paris collection and it is gorgeous. It released today, so it's available now. You can always use code MICHELLE20 to save 20% off on your orders. And Growing Modestly is doing something new, offering printables as well as physical stickers. So this could be purchased as an entire collection or as individual sheets. This is the Paris Shops, this is the Paris, and this is the Paris Florals. Now, I printed this pretty large, but that's, that's the great thing about digital stickers. You can print them however you want and as many times as you want, but they're also offered as stickers you can purchase and have sent to you. And you can either choose a matte, the paper or the clear but aren't these so pretty? I just love these florals. Now I did pull out some paper too to use with these. I've got a couple of things my sweet friend Wanda sent me because we are on a junk journaling journey. She sent me this Tim Holtz uh, vellum paper pack and it is so gorgeous. But I saw in here, and I'll link everything that I can find. I saw something pink in here that I wanna cut out. Okay, possibly this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear that out. 
And then in the back, there are some sheets that have like little things you can cut out, like some of these smaller things. I think I will pull out this one also. Oh, that's pretty too, isn't it? I'm gonna pull that out too, just in case. So right here, I think I wanna tear this. because I think that's gonna be pretty with this. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I don't want any of the other things around it on it. So I'm gonna tear this also. I really don't have anything like planned as far as what I'm gonna do. So that's the fun of this kind of crafting like junk journaling or scrapbooking is you can do whatever you want pull out all your stuff have fun with it all right so these are on paper i also printed them on clear and i printed the eiffel tower a little bit larger I'm kind of thinking here, but let me just talk, let me think for just a second on that because I think I want to do some paper also. So I have this that I tore and then the other piece that was next to it. And this is actually in French, so that's perfect. know if I want the paper under the Eiffel Tower or not. I'm kind of thinking I don't. So let's see what it looks like without. And I have some more papers that I cut up. So I want to do this piece over here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this under here.
Let's do that little street lamp up there or light lamp post. Let's do that there and Okay, let's do that and a little rosebud. Little scraps up here. Okay, and let's do this here. With the rest of it underneath the Eiffel Tower. So we'll put the little flower shop here. With the little street post. All right, and let's put this scrap right here. Part of that rose there. With that and then these leaves here. And then I have some just um, die cut ephemera from Tim Holtz. Just like that. Let's put the little car there. Let's use this little antiques card or die cut. This is still from that Tim Holtz pack. there and I think these two will be the things I'll use to write things on to make it a journaling spread so this one I want it right there Just like that. And I want to put some flowers around that. Let's 
We'll put that one up there. And this here of things up and I turned the camera off so it might not have gotten everything but I want to add just a couple more places to take notes or not to take notes but to journal so I think I'm going to put that there straight and this is one of those little die cut ephemeras from that Tim Holtz pack So I think I want to do that and add the car. All right, and I want to use a little bit of this parchment paper. I think I want the car to be on that though. So let's do that just like that, where it's all sort of layered together. And now I just want to add a lot more flowers. do that and let's put this one over here kind of clustered with those let's do a few falling leaves like that Do I want to add one more little piece of pink paper? Let me see. Maybe smaller than this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I was gonna use some of these, but I don't think I am. I think I love it just like it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put my spread together with these beautiful Paris stickers from Growing Modestly. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!